Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to fix any DLL missing problem on your computer. So please follow the steps with me and let's get started. Okay, normally most of the DLL files are based in C drive. So if you just open up the local C drive and then look for Windows folder, which is this one. Open up the Windows folder and then in here we have two folders, which is this one, SYSWOW64 folder and system32 so normally your dll files will be within these two folders so if i just type there system32 which is this one and then in here look for your dll missing file name and once you find it just right click on it and copy the file name so you need to make sure you copy everything and then once you copy it and go to this website and paste the file name in the search bar this website link will be in the description for you to access it. So after you paste it in here, just click on search DLL file. Okay, so once you search for the file, then it will give you the download link in here for the DLL file. Just click on it and open it up. So in here, as you can see, it gives you so many different download options. But you need to make sure what is your computer system bit is. If it's 32-bit or 64-bit. So I'm just going to show you how to check that one. We need to open up the settings so just right click on windows button and then select system and then on the top just click on system and scroll down to the bottom of the page it says about as you can see it says system type 64 bit so if it's showing your 64 bit or 32 bit then you can decide in here which one to download so if it's 64 bit you can download over here and if it's 32 bit you can download this one Okay, since my operating system is 64-bit, I'm just going to download this one. Once the download is completed, open the zip file. And now for you to be able to find out where to copy and paste this DLL file, on the same page where you have just downloaded the file, there is three steps in here. Just follow the steps and then you will find out where to paste the DLL file. Over here is showing you all the information that you need, how to copy and paste the DLL file name into the correct folder. And that's all. So please let me know in the comments below if this video was useful for you. Thanks for watching. Hope this video was useful. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos.